Okay, here's another short one for you. Got this skull, this is from Walmart. This is like $14 from Walmart. Here's a replacement lamp cord, three-way lamp socket, and this is a an LED multicolor uh, flashing. It does all kinds of stuff, uh, bulb. This skull goes on this guy that I made in a video previously up top, and I think it's gonna look better if it lights up. So we're gonna put this bulb inside of this skull and it's gonna look way better because it's gonna light up. All right, if you're not comfortable with this, just get an electrician, okay? Just so you know, when you pull the little three-way plug apart, you've got a gold and a silver, or a yellow and a silver. The hot wire, sorry, the hot wire goes to the yellow or gold. And if you don't know what the hot wire is on your household plug, when you plug something into the wall, the hot wire if your house is wired correctly, will be the will be the prong on the right, so the small prong. So if you look at a plug-in, the one on the right is the smaller one, and that is the hot wire. That is what you will connect to the gold or yellow. Okay, I've just marked out a square here for an access hole. I'm gonna get my Dremel and cut that out. That way I can get my hand and get the light bulb in there and have access. I might just hot glue it back on there or uh, maybe Velcro. An access hole cut. I got these little pieces of plastic there from the lid of a Tupperware. I'm just gonna hot glue one on this side, hot glue one on this side, and then I can either screw, I'll probably just put a couple screws in there and then hot glue around it just for weatherproof. Um, this plug is not uh, weatherproof, so that'll keep the any kind of rain from coming down on top of it and getting inside of here. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm gonna get the light ran through here. I'll drill another hole behind the pole that holds the head for the wire to go through. And I'm gonna get the pole shoved in here <clears throat> and I'm gonna zip tie this plug onto the pole and it's an LED light so it doesn't get extremely hot. The LEDs do, do get a little bit hot uh, but not nearly as hot as a regular light bulb. So that's where I'm at. Alright so this Vibe Essential Light is pretty sweet. That is flash. It's funny that this is strobe because flash is faster but even though on the remote you can take it up and down you got on, off, all your different colors for steady, or you have flash, strobe, fade, or smooth. That's smooth. That's fade, looks the same. Strobe, flash. Flash. That's pretty cool. That's the smooth. So I'll turn this light off here and give you a view. I think that's going to look so much better on that guy with the hood having this thing light up. Okay, for extra insurance, I just put electrical tape down here on the bottom. And I put electrical tape in between the socket and the light just so I know this thing isn't going to wiggle loose. And do not forget, if you do this to any skulls or anything, I'm leaving this switch on. So when I plug in this thing into the wall, it's got power all the way to the light. The light won't come on, though, until I use this. Or if you leave power on when you unplug this uh, Vibe Essential light, when you plug it back in, power will be to the light. If you kill power before you unplug it, when you plug it back in, you'll have to push power on the power switch. Luckily, this switch picks up through the skull. I've done it through the front of the skull and it picks up. So I'll be able to change whatever I want uh, when this is in the skull and all sealed up. If you're, if you're doing this, make sure you check that before you put this light in here and seal it all up. Um, Cause if this 
remote on yours doesn't work through the skull, you're gonna wanna set your setting before you close this all up. So I'm gonna get this closed up and get it on the guy. Okay, so I got these little plastic pieces glued on the top, glued on the bottom, and then I screwed them here on the sides so I can come through with the cap, which I made sure I labeled up. Put that on there, it'll keep it from falling in, then I can screw it in here and here, and then I will just go around with some hot glue and glue it just to make it weather tight. All right, got the pole in there. I've got a bolt through the top of the head, which bolts into this pole. The light is in there. It's zip tied, I got three zip ties. You can't see the bottom one. I got another one underneath here. Ran the cord all the way through it. Comes out the bottom where the pole that's gonna go in the ground is. I've got the back here, pre-drilled. Those pre-drilled. I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on there and get it sealed up. Okay, I got the access panel on. I'm gonna go through and hot glue, make sure it's all watertight. Then I'll get the hood on, the necklace, and the scarf, and I'll be back for the video. All right, it is officially done. Got the light in there. I've got it on a slow turn of light. It looks pretty cool like that. The fast flash is pretty cool too, but I kind of like the slower one better. Went ahead and got the skull on the hand with this is a little lantern that lights up and i threw a skull on this uh deal from walmart this thing was only three bucks from walmart and it's super light so i'll hit the lights and you can see the skull Definitely gonna look way cooler outside at night with that head lighting up. Thanks a lot, guys.